If you use a heavy gimbal setup, Today's video is for you. We're gonna be talking about the Thanos SE. It's a gimbal support vest that supports cameras from 4.4 pounds all the way up to 17.6 pounds. So you can use an A6400 on an RSC2 all the way up to a decked out red Komodo on an RS3 Pro. I'm AO with AOJ Photography and Video. I'm a wedding videographer and a content creator based out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe and the bell to get notifications. You might be asking, what this vest does. It's gonna take all the weight off your arms and put it onto your shoulders and your back, which is gonna allow you to shoot with your gimbal for longer periods of time. Let's see what's in the box. When you receive it, it's gonna come in a carrying bag like this. The vest is gonna come in this Ziploc bag. To put the vest on, you're gonna put it right over your head. So you're gonna strap it on the side and then strap this on the other side. You have this lower waist strap that you're gonna strap up. And then you also have these two straps here. So these straps just come across the front and they just hook right here. The first time I put this on, I absolutely hated it. I said I would never use it. What was happening was my lower back started hurting really bad, but I wasn't using these two straps. So when you don't use these straps, this actually like sits forward. So all the weight is distributed to your lower back. But when you tighten these straps up, and hook it here, it pulls this back, which puts the weight on your shoulders and then across your mid back here. Also comes with this dual spring arm. You're gonna, it has a lock and unlock button here. And you're just gonna slide this onto the front of the vest and lock it in. This is where you're gonna mount your gimbal. It comes with this round base plate and this can mount to the bottom of any gimbal or camera setup because it has a quarter 20 thread. But what I did was I added this Falcam F38 quick release plate so I can take my gimbal off and on really quickly. It also comes with this insert piece. So if you are putting the gimbal arm into the vest and it's a smaller arm, this is gonna take up some of that space so it can fit. As you see, we're gonna put this inside here. Then we're gonna mount the round base plate. And then we're just gonna tighten that up. One thing that I saw on all the Amazon reviews and even some YouTube videos is you unturn this to get a lower angle shot, but they were saying the gears were out because this has gears. What you wanna do is you don't wanna mount it this way because if you mount the, the gimbal this way and you want a lower angle shot, you have to use this thing that has gears. And what you'll see is when you try to get that lower angle shot, you're gonna see it like stuttering coming down, it won't be smooth. What you actually wanna do is you wanna turn this to the left. Now you're gonna mount your gimbal this way straight ahead. And so you want a lower angle shot, you're gonna loosen this up. This does not have gears, so it's gonna be nice and smooth when you transition to a lower angle shot. Now that I have this quick release on here, I can easily just snap the gimbal right onto the vest. It's supporting it totally fine. There's no weight on my arms, and I'm just literally just touching it to guide the gimbal. It has two knobs on this dual spring arm. One for the first spring, and then there's another knob for the second spring. And you just turn it, and it's just gonna adjust it up a little bit. It's balanced when it just sits there and floats. I don't even feel this on me right now. It's putting all that weight on my shoulders and my back. Not only can you film with this for hours, you could just go and film something with the camera and the lens. But when you have your map box, your phone, your gimbal, and a vest like this, the client is just gonna feel more confident about what you're gonna produce for them. So who is this vest for? It's priced at $645 US. Now that's not cheap, but it's not really expensive. Especially when you're comparing it to a system like the tilt Float or Easy Rig, those systems can set you back thousands of dollars. I would recommend this vest for wedding videographers. I mean, we shoot for so long at weddings, anywhere from eight to 10 hours. Having this is really gonna save your back. Also, if you shoot music videos or real estate videos, I mean, this will help you out a lot. If you're shooting with gimbals for a longer period of time, I think you should look into this system. Who is this system not for? If you're a minimalist, this system isn't for you. It's just another piece of gear that you have to take 
you might be better off just using your gimbal by itself. If you shoot really hot angles like establishing shots at a wedding ceremony or reception, then you will have to take the gimbal off of the vest in order to get that angle. The arm can only get but so high. Something like that, you might wanna go with the ring grip setup. This was my first time adding a support rig to my gimbal. I really fell in love with the Thanos SE after I ended up shooting with it. I think I'm gonna try out the ring grip setup next. Drop a comment below on which ring grip I should test. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe and the bell to get notifications.